Do you have any personal advice for how to be okay with those incremental steps and not feel like they have to be at that end goal already? Because there's a lot of pressure from the outside sometimes. And then that feeds the pressure from the inside that's already there to just be there already. Does that make sense? hundred percent. I would say try. Try doing whatever it is you're trying to do with only the end goal in mind. See how quickly you fail. And then come back to it knowing that that isn't the way forward. For example, with fitness again, my um, in 2021, I did a fitness program that was 10 weeks. The personal trainer running the fitness program was like, yeah, I'm going to get you ripped. Guess what happened? I wasn't ripped in 10 weeks. <laughs> After two weeks, in fact, I was injured and I didn't even complete the program. When you have that end goal in mind, and often I find with, things like that the end goal isn't just the end goal it's an inflated end goal like honestly unless you're willing to put every moment of every day into something like fitness for 10 weeks you're not going to change your body all that much it goes back to that thing uh, that quote famous quote and i can't remember who said it might have been warren buffett people uh, overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years something along those lines it's just about seeing things on a longer time horizon like you are more likely to get to maybe not even the goal but something where you're actually happy like fulfilled with the work that you've done if you put in a long put in the work for a long time you know what i mean but i think at least for me because of my complex somewhat defunct personality i have to learn everything in the hardest most drawn out way possible and then when i've learned it i've learned it you know what i mean <laughs> so like trying telling me that i that i had loads of time and that i should just do a little bit every day i was never going to listen to that advice i needed to try things taking shortcuts and doing all the hacks and then coming back to it and going, actually, none of those things work. I might as well just try and stay consistent with a consistent amount of effort that I can put in instead of trying to go real hard for 10 weeks and then being disappointed. Yeah. It seems like what you're bringing forward is is what we talk about often on this podcast and within ourselves is is shifting the from uh, orientation around results into process, right? So perfection, perfectionism is inherently a result and creativity is inherently a process. You don't, you're just, you're not just, creativity isn't a result, at least in my experience and from my, my perspective, it's something that can, it's a continuation, it's a growth, it's an expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think it's, it's something that what you're bringing forward even uh, is the idea of these goals. I think, I think maybe there's a, a misconception that a goal is a result. Mm. Uh, where a goal can be uh, a continuation, it could be a creative process in that sense to create benchmarks and help us understand where we are in the process without having to be the re have the rigidity of, of a result. 100%. It's just a direction. I think there's been, like said, uh, a miscommunication when it comes to personal development, business development, that a goal is something that has to be hit. Like if you're, if you're quantifying it and it's like, we're looking to make $50,000 this month in revenue. Mm -hmm. You either hit that mark or you don't. But when it comes to personal development, either like in trying to give up a substance in creating projects, whether that is artistic or not, there has to be flow there. There has to not be rigidity because part of being creative is to have that flow. As soon as you're like put in a box and you can only, uh, you talk about myopic ways of doing things and viewing things, that is the very antithesis of creativity. So cr to be creative, whether that is in artistic realms or 
just in how you brush your teeth, <laughs> which is something that you brought up before, Austin. Like, it is to be able to do things in different ways because a lot of creativity comes down to problem solving. If every problem could be solved in a myopic way, we wouldn't have any problems as humans anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, problems are more complex than that. Humans are more complex than that. If you think that you're going to go through life being able to just go, yes, no, yes, no, to every problem in your life without really giving it any thought, it's not going to work that way, unfortunately. <laughs> I would know because I wish I tried to make it work that way in my early 20s. And nah. <laughs> so accepting that things aren't always going to work out, but having the creativity and like the identity of being creative enough to have flexibility in those situations is where I would hopefully empower people to be. Thank you.